What's going on YouTube? I'm E and this is Simply Put Sims. So guys, what's going on? I wanted to welcome you to another episode of Kick to the Curb. And again, to all of you guys out there who are like, what the heck is Kick to the Curb? Well, this is a series that I created that pretty much shares with you guys fragrances that I once really, really loved. Like fragrances that I either really liked a lot or love. And for some reason or other, I've just not worn them. They've just fallen out of rotation. And to be honest with you, I don't even look for these type of scents anymore. Fragrances that have been kicked to the curb in this series are fragrances that I no longer love after once really, really digging them. I don't love you anymore. Since when? No. Just now. Such is life, guys. Sometimes you really, really like something, and then sometimes you're just like, Why did I ever, ever like this? It is what it is. And so, it makes for a great video. So, guys, I want to share with you my kick to the curb fragrance. This fragrance is from the house of Bugari. Guys, when I tell you, this fragrance was on the top, I think top four or top three of my last year's top spring list under $35. Yeah, I mean, I really like this fragrance. And I don't know, just can't bring myself to spray it on my skin any longer. It's just, I don't, I just can't do it. Again, so you really know I must have liked this scent. It must have been no game. I really like this fragrance. The scent just, I don't know, it fell off a cliff when it came to my taste. Just nose down. <laughs> So far in the Kick to the Curb series, I've normally had an attachment to the scents that I've kicked to the curb. But this time, there's no such attachment. So I don't really feel as bad about this one. <laughs> so, here comes the confrontation. Bulgari Aqua Amara. When I first smelled you, I was so impressed with how different you was. You were just so out of the ordinary. I didn't know any fragrance that reminded me of you. You were just so unique. But over time, since we've gotten to know each other a little bit more, I gotta admit, I find you repulsive. You're absolutely disgusting to me now. Every time you're on my skin, I got to scrub you off right then and there. I just can't smell you no more. On my skin, you smell like plastic. You honestly smell like plastic oranges sprayed with orange air freshener. And even orange air freshener is more real than you. You could get stuff artificially done, I don't mind. But when it's overly done, I just can't. I just, I just can't. So, as much as it pains me, well, it doesn't really pain me, but, as much as I hate to say it, well, I don't really hate to say it either, but <laughs> be serious, E. As much as it surprises me to say, Aqua Amara, I have to kick you to the curb. No, no, no. Shh. Don't make it harder than it needs to be. Bye, Felicia. Well guys, it's never easy to move on from a fragrance you once really, really liked. But sometimes you just outgrow a scent and it just needs to be done. It doesn't make any sense holding on to something that is no longer there. You know, when it's over, let it go. feel a lot better. That was very cathartic. <laughs> Guys, honestly, honestly, I gotta tell you straight up, I hate that scent now. It smells like something I would spray on my wood furniture. The frankincense in the scent does not smell good enough to me. The frankincense is horrible. The orange, horrible. I really don't know 
what I liked about this fragrance, but now every time I smell it, I get really turned off. I mean, really turned off. It used to be so good to me, but don't get me wrong again, guys. I love a lot of synthetic fragrances. There are some synthetic fragrances that I absolutely love, just not this one. And to be honest with you, the fact that this fragrance is as loved as it is, is kind of shocking. I would expect it to be a lot more polarizing, you know? But it's really not. Either I'm crazy or y'all crazy. Honestly, I would buy Atlantique in a heartbeat over Amara. I'm about to confess something that really is going to get me some dislikes. But I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Too much information. It's what I give, it's what I do. Even when it sometimes gets me in trouble. You really are crazy. Finish him. Guys, I've been using Aqua Amara as a toilet freshener. Ouch. Yup, a toilet freshener. Not an air freshener for the bathroom, but literally a toilet freshener. And to be honest with you, it does a great job for that purpose. A really great job. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, guys. You like what you like. The nose knows best. It is what it is. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of kick to the curb every time i do a video like this it pains me because basically it means wasted money <laughs> so guys thank you so much again for watching i really appreciate your time please comment down below let me know what you thought of this episode of kick to the curb please like this video if you appreciated it and of course subscribe and hit that bell thank you so much for that in advance i'm e and this is Sip, put, sips, and I'm simply O-U-T, peace. So first off guys, I noticed a lot of you were annoyed by the final two fragrances. I know some of you were like, why these two have to be the last two scents we gotta vote on? To many of you, it was like the choice between warm crap and cold crap. <laughs>